just took the girlfriend to pick up her car from getting oil changed tire rotation. She didn't want me to do it. Don't guess. Anyway, on the way there, I had seen this Passat wagon. Look at that baby. Thing's hot. I want it. I think I could actually tow with it if this thing came to, came down to like being in like a straight up like track car. It's got a V6. It's got black interior with wood trim. It's got this kind of like cluster with the silver. It's got the same radio. It's got heated seats. All that room for wheels and parts. And they want 5k for it and it's from it has California plates on it. So I'm assuming there's not much rust but I got the guy's number and I'm gonna go home and text him. See if I can talk him down a little bit. I could buy this like right now and then if I re-enlist then I'll pay for this and I'll have my cars but I still have to get rid of the blue car, so that kind of sucks. But maybe I could give him like a down payment. I, I don't know. Getting ahead of myself, but I'm gonna go home and eat because I just got done with the gym. Got work in like five hours, so I might pull some other parts off the car to get ready to sell. We'll see how this is gonna go. All right, guys, here's the plan for the day. We are going to start putting the Mark 7 back to stockish. We're gonna leave the catch can for now. I don't know how well we'll be able to see here. Let me see pretty decent. This is the catch can and the washer setup. That's gonna stay, but for now it's gonna be the intake, the intake pipe, the throttle pipe back down there, and then the, the turbo muffler delete. Um, it's all pretty easy to take off. It should only take me maybe 30 minutes, maybe 45 max. Putting all the old stuff on, for the most part, should be easy. Except for there's like this uh, big plastic piece that goes right here, along here. <clears throat> I don't know how long that's gonna take me, because I haven't done it in forever. But first things first, I gotta get up in the attic and find all the parts first, bring them down, disassemble, and pull the other stuff out of those boxes, put this stuff in those boxes, <clears throat> and go from there. Um, in the process of selling the old intercooler, she's going ham. I have, I have the old uh, turbo already sold that ships out tomorrow. I gotta ship it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Key. As soon as I can get the parts off this and sold, sell this car, getting another car. Hopefully, I can get that car I showed you in the beginning of this video. I'm gonna hit them up after I'm done working on this car. But uh, that's the way things are going. I want to get rid of this car payment and put my life and soul back into the Mark IV. So, here we go. Alright, so here's stock air dam thing I was telling you about. It goes up front. Boom. We got a uh, stock air box. The hose and then uh, this goes on the turbo itself. So all this you're going about and this is the stock turbo muffler that'll be going back on too. Um, I think this is yeah. So there's all that. I also forgot about some stuff that was up there. So my these are my original springs. I have the racing line springs on the car. Maybe someone wants them, I don't know. I'll sell them for real cheap. I still got uh, my short shifter and short shifter bracket to take off. These carbon fiber mirror caps take off, but that'll be another day. I have too much stuff that I want to sell at once and it's hard to kind of keep track of. So I'm gonna do little by little, but uh, I'll probably do that on the weekend or something. Take off the shifter stuff, because that's, that's something I need a good amount of hands with, kind of going back and forth between the engine bay, doing this out the third. Anyway. Let's get the tools out and uh, start putting this baby back to stock. All right, for this it's real simple. It's just a uh, screw right here. There's a screw that holds it in up here and it comes out. You got, uh, I don't remember this little guy, but that's, that's what it is. Nice and light, weighs absolutely nothing. I'm actually, might not put this one up for sale just yet. I might try and retrofit this into that car. I think it's absolutely possible if you move the battery to the back. So this is gonna be the last piece that I sell. It's also the one that's worth the most probably out of all this but the catch can itself. That's like a thousand dollars almost. But we'll save this one for sale to land for last. Actually, my neighbor just got a Mark 7R also. So I'm gonna see if I'll buy most of this shit. It's also a manual. So I'm actually, I grab the camera here. 
you guys can actually see that's the short shift there and then back in there you can't really see it it's a little metal piece back there it's a uh, bracket the original one's plastic so yeah you can see the nice carbon this goes and what this attaches to back there it says racing line boom that's going and then the little turbo muffler delete you can't really see right now but that's gonna be a bitch to get but it'll be fun all right we just got this loosened up another easy peasy piece no easy just a clamp more nice fibery carbon it's filthy but yeah next will be the what you call it turbo inlet and then we'll do the muffler delete after that and then we'll reassemble with the old ship so this is the original air box well it's actually yeah, it does sit like this and it gets air from in here boom like that from in front of the car and then this is the tube that goes on after the box this is the stock one compared to the one i just took off and then the uh the turbo inlet this is what i had on there this connects to this this one connects to this one obviously you can tell how much of a difference they are so there's that these will be for sale you know they're they're used i should should be able to get a pretty penny for them so fingers crossed so we're going for damn down in there that little guy right there that bolt that bolt and then this black piece up against the turbo is what's actually coming off. So we're gonna get this hose clamps off and then get that turbo muffler to leave out. Which isn't anything that I'm replacing, but see, this was like this. Yeah, but this just has to come off so I can get to it. You see this weird little design here? They put these on here so it can't fall off. But they didn't do it for this side. Why? It doesn't even make sense. But now I can get, I think it's three five millimeter, five millimeter Allen's to get the turbo muffler delete off and then uh, reassemble. Alright guys, here's the one I had on there, the APR, nothing real, you know, fancy, but you compare it to the OE, and it has this, this is to keep turbo noises down. Someone please explain to me why you wouldn't want turbo noises, especially if you're buying a Golf R or a GTI, like they're more performance based than like, say a base Golf that does have a turbo, but like, this doesn't make sense to me. So I have to spend, you know, $120 for something that just deletes a couple of holes and that's it. But you do get some little performance gains, but it's mainly for freaking sound. You look at me, well, why'd you buy it then? Well, because I'm a sucker, obviously. But someone else is gonna buy it from me. But this is OE, this is uh, aftermarket, and yeah, pretty simple stuff. Oh! oh, cut it. I have the swivel Allen one on, and now it's stuck, damn it. All right, so we got turbo muffler delete back on and then the, uh, the hoses or the hose for that right there. That's all nice, put back the stock. Uh, all you gotta do really for it is undo this bolt and then undo those, take that out to get to the turbo muffler. Next, we'll put the uh, inlet pipe back in. It's just keyed, so you put it in here, key it, slide it back, it watches latches in that little notch and there's just that one bolt and then from there we put the intake piping and then this put this freaking I forget what they call it put that back in and we'll be done should be like another maybe 20 minutes easy stuff but like I said the fun part is gonna be taking all this back out which I mean ain't shit and then taking it's these two and then you can see that bolt right there there's three bolts and then a big bracket that uh It'll be done, but I want to like get this stuff on, make sure the car, car runs good, no leaks, any vacuum lines, whatever, and then switch out the other stuff. So I'm not switching out like 50 parts at once, and then if something does go wrong, then I got to figure out which one of the 50 parts I messed up. Even though one 
the transmission in one's engine. It's still, if something sounds funny or feels funny, I know at least what to look for. So I'm doing all the intake stuff first, and then I'll do the uh, transmission stuff later. I actually have this bleeder block here I should switch out to. It's a real cheap part, but it does a lot. It allows the clutch pedal to release faster because the uh, OE one is, has like a restrictor valve in it, and this one is. Imagine just going from this to this and being able to allow fluid in and out through that. Anyway, I'll have to swap that out. It's real easy. It's just two clips, pop the hose, but you need to bleed the, uh, the clutch afterwards real quick because you get a little air in the system. But easy stuff. And uh, yeah, let's get back to it. Roll and roll. What's up, dudes? We got the first part of the intake on. I test fitted this to make sure I didn't need anything else that was crazy. But it's just two screws for this. I thought it was more, but it's not. It's just an air dam. It directs air in, because the hood will close, but air still gets in here, and it directs this air into the intake. So you're always getting, quote unquote, cold air, even if it's not the uh, the best of, what's the, the flow of the air isn't very good, but it is cold air, so. If someone says they're putting a cold air intake on a M Mark 7 GTI or Golf, they're retarded because it's already cold air. It's just not a very good flow. One of my pet peeves of the forms these days. Hmm, what cold air intake should I get? Oh, bro, you already have one. Anyway. This just has a few posts that you click and then boom, boom, boom. It's in, you got a vacuum line here. That bitch in, pop this bitch on. That's pretty much it. I'm gonna take this guy. channel in here for it. Whatever you do, if you're watching this and you have one of these, do not forget to ever put your vacuum on. It's a bad idea. I drove like three hours one time. I took my intake off to clean it out before driving to Austin. I got like 120 miles away and I pulled over to a gas station. I realized I didn't put it on, popped the hood, and there it is, just hanging. I was a little upset. The car didn't really act very funny. I thought it would be more. Just I don't really know what it does. I think it goes to the intake manifold. I think there's flaps in there that change depending on the throttle position and whatnot. But yeah, you definitely need that. Okay. Trust me. Boost tap will stay because I you actually put a hole in the intake manifold for this boost tap. 
so I'll just pinch off the line. I got a, a gauge, a P3 gauge I gotta sell too. Actually, I'll do that in the next video. I'll do the P3 gauge and the short shifter and the short shifter bracket. Because the P3 gauge is like a 400 something dollar piece right there. I don't know, I forgot about that. That's, uh, that's an ECU for this car, easy. And if I can get rid of my downpipe and my exhaust to my neighbor, or even just the exhaust alone, and take his stock cap back, that's a like $2,400 exhaust. So probably not sell for anywhere near that, but yeah. Uh, all right, we just went on a little uh, little test drive here. Everything seems well. I can't even hear the turbo, so that's that means everything's working, but it's kind of sad. It's trick or treat, it's Halloween, so there's kids everywhere. I can't go on an extended test drive, plus I only got like two hours, so I gotta go to work. So, uh, I'm gonna get in here, make some pizza, take a shower, relax for a minute before we gotta go in, but uninstall and reinstall success. Like I said, next time we'll be doing a short shifter, short shifter bracket, and this uh, boost gauge. Post all up for sale, we post all this to the rest of this junk up for sale tonight. It's kind of sad, but at the same time, I know what's going to be made of the R32, and I already got it, like I said, another car in mind as a daily slash kind of stancy looking car, because, you know, we all need the best of both worlds, right? So, we'll see how everything pans out. I don't know if it's going to be the end of the video or not, but if not, I'll catch you later. Here's the half dirty, half clean bay of the other car, but I was trying to kind of look at this where it could sit because there's already like a spot here where air can go through if I can mount this there but the way it looks it would uh, it would hit right here but I can't really tell if the battery's still in there but if I could get it to sit about like this then you still got to worry about the MAF sensor and the clearance trying to get it all in there I don't really I don't need that sensor either but I don't know it would be really cool to see it fit and work, but I, I, 99% chance it won't. And if it would, it wouldn't be very efficient. But uh, yeah, like I said, it kind of sucks. I, I, I got this to sell, I got the gauge in there to sell still, but I kind of, I feel some type of way about it. This car has done me a lot of good and it's pissed me off. I've had more problems with this car in less than a year than I've had in that car in four years, so. You know, I just go to the show. I mean, most, I don't know. I just want to get back into what I know and love and the sound of that fucking VR6. You cannot beat. You cannot beat that sound. I'm in love with it. I have VR6 running through my blood. Like, and it's a coupe. Like, I hate having four doors, so. On well, my race car, at least, you know. I don't want to have back seats. I don't want people asking me for rides. It's just me, my co-driver, and, you know, we're, we're out of this bitch. And having four exhaust pipes on a four banger isn't my cup of tea either, so there's that, like that car has. Um, is that, I mean, the backup camera, I mean, it's cool that it pops out of the emblem and all, but like, why? Like, I don't, these are not things that I need, you know, I don't know. But this car will be going over a big transformation this winter. Just stay tuned, it's going to be huge. I'm telling you, this car is going to do, it's going to get everything I've ever wanted within the next year or so. The way things are looking right now, they're, they're looking real good, real good. So just stay tuned. Big things coming, like I said. We'll do more uninstalls and reinstalls on this car while I'm ordering parts for this car and getting money situated. Things are happening, all right? Things are happening. Trust me. So, uh, yeah. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll catch you on the flip flop.